Good morning everyone. Welcome to the morning devotion praying through the psalms my friends. Today we are praying psalm 135 a beautiful psalm. This psalm is about the praise of God and the psalmist acclaims God as the ruler and benefactor of the people of Israel. Wonderful. This psalm has 21 verses in it and the whole psalm echoes the previous texts or verses from the Old Testament. Hence, this psalm looks quite familiar to all of us as we begin the psalm. The main concept of the psalm is praise of God. Beautiful. This psalm begins and ends with an invitation to the whole house of Israel, priests, Levites and all people of Israel to sing praises to the name of the Lord and to bless his name because the Lord is good and these people have been chosen by God to praise God all the time and people of Israel have been chosen by God in a very special way. Beautiful. We now read opening verses and the closing verses. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise you servants of the Lord who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord for the Lord is good. So the psalmist is declaring that the Lord is good and he would call all the people, all servants and all the people to praise the name of the Lord. Verse 4. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself. Israel as his treasured possession. Here, the psalmist declared that the people of Israel have been chosen by God to praise God. Let us now see the closing verses, 19 through 21. The same thing echoes also in the closing verses. House of Israel, bless the Lord. House of Aaron, bless the Lord. House of Levi, bless the Lord. You who fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Means all people who fear the Lord. Verse 21. Bless, blessed be the Lord from Zion who dwell in Jerusalem. So all people who dwell in the city of Jerusalem. In other words, the people of Israel. Let us bless the Lord. So here the psalmist invites all people of Israel, the whole house of Israel to, to praise the Lord because he is good. Beautiful. In verses 5 through 7. The psalmist invites all people of Israel to sing praises to the Lord because he is great and he is greater than all other gods and he is the one who created heaven and earth, the oceans. He is the one who gives rain and he is the one who can create the great winds and all that. Beautiful. We now read verses from 5 through 7. For I know that the Lord is great Here the psalmist is declaring that he knows that the Lord is great. That our Lord is greater than all other gods. Beautiful. Whatever the Lord desires, he does in heaven and on earth. In the seas and all the depths. Because he is the one who created heavens, earth, seas and all the depths of the oceans. So he can do anything he would wish. Verse 7. It is he who raises storm clouds from the end of the year. So he is the one who can give us rain, makes lightning for the rain, and brings forth wind from from his storehouse. Beautiful. So my friends here, the psalmist is declaring that the Lord is great, that God is so great, he is above all other gods, and he is the one who created heaven, earth, and everything in in this universe. Wonderful and beautiful. In verses 8 through 14, the psalmist reminds all people of Israel how the Lord delivered them from the hands of Pharaoh in Egypt and how he brought them out of their slavery in Egypt and how he defended them against all the enemies, against all the nations in order to settle them in the land of Canaan and how the Lord showed mercy to his people. Beautiful account. Verses from 8 through 14. He struck down Egypt's firstborn, of human being and beast alike. He sent signs and wonders against you, Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. It is he who struck down many nations and slew mighty kings, Sihon, king of the Amorites, Og, king of Bashan, all the kings of Canaan, 
and made their land a heritage, a heritage for Israel, his people. Verse 13 and 14. O Lord, your name is forever, your renown from generation to generation. For the Lord defends his people, shows mercy to his servants. A beautiful account, my friends, of how the Lord took care of them, of how the Lord defended his own people. Beautiful account. Here, he calls once again all people of Israel to sing praises to the Lord because the Lord defended them. Beautiful. In verses 15 through 18, the psalmist mentions the gods of other nations as idols made of silver and gold and these idols, these gods are the work of human hands and he declared that their God, Yahweh is truly great God. Beautiful. Verses from 15 through 18. The idols of the nations are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths but do not speak. They have eyes but do not see. They have ears but do not hear nor is their breath in their mouths. Their makers will become like them and anyone who trusts in them. Beautiful. My friends, so this is how the psalmist is inviting all people of Israel to trust in the Lord alone and not anyone else. And he would invite all people, the whole house of Israel, priests, Levites and all people to sing praises to his name, to bless the Lord. Beautiful. We now join the psalmist in praising the Lord and thanking the Lord by praying Psalm 135. Alleluia. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise you servants of the Lord who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing to his name, for it brings joy. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, Israel as his treasured possession. For I know that the Lord is great, that our Lord is greater than all gods. Whatever the Lord desires, he does in heaven and on earth, in the seas and all the depths. It is he who raises storm clouds from the end of the earth, makes lightning for the rain, and brings forth wind from his storehouse. He struck down Egypt's firstborn of human being and beast alike and sent signs and wonders against you, Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. It is he who struck down many nations and slew mighty kings. Sion, king of the Amorites, and Og, king of Bashan, all the kings of Canaan and made their land a heritage, a heritage for Israel, his people. O oh Lord, your name is forever. Your renown from generation to generation for the Lord defends his people shows mercy to his servants. The idols of the nations are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, 
but do not speak. They have eyes, but do not see. They have ears, but do not hear. Nor is there breath in their mouths. Their makers will become like them. And anyone who trusts in them. House of Israel, bless the Lord. House of Aaron, bless the Lord. House of Levi, bless the Lord. You who fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord from Zion, who dwells in Jerusalem. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who created heaven and earth and everything that is in this universe, we thank you, we praise you, and we bow down before you. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful psalm, Psalm 135. The psalmist is inviting all the people of the universe, the people of Israel, and all people across the globe to sing praises to your most holy name, to bless your name. Thank you, Lord, for this great invitation by the psalmist. Here we are trying to praise you, thank you, adore you. Receive our prayers, O Lord. Count not our sins, O Lord. Bless us. Keep us praising you all the time. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful gift of life. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Thank you, Lord, for this great communion, for this wonderful fellowship. Thank you. Thank you for all the blessings, O oh Lord. Thank you for the comforts you give us. Thank you for the beautiful life you give us. Thank you for all the facilities you give us. Thank you for the families, friends, and all people, O oh Lord. Thank you for everything. Help us to know that you are only God. Increase our faith in you, O oh Lord. Bless us. Keep us safe in your love. May we proclaim your greatness to all people whom we meet. Once again, we ask you to increase our faith, to bless us, to bless us with your generosity, with your love, with your kindness, with your forgiveness, O oh Lord. Help us also to share the same love and kindness with our friends and other people. Bless all your people, O Lord, who watch this program. Bless their homes, bless their near and dear ones. In a very special way, O Lord, we pray for all people who, who feel left out, who feel, you know, there is no one for them. Take care of them and send us, use us for your glory, that we can reach out those people who feel lonely. We also pray, O Lord, in a very special way for those people who don't believe in you, who for some reason or the other stay away from you. Bless them, protect them, forgive them, bring them back to your fold once again. Thank you, Lord. Keep us safe in your love and help us to proclaim you all the time. Increase our faith in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In today's psalm, the psalmist invites all people of Israel and all others across the nations to trust in the Lord alone and no one else. Yes, let us trust in the Lord alone and no one else, for he is truly the Lord. God bless us. Thanks for watching our program, Praying Through the Psalms. Kindly stay tuned to JCKU Creations to watch our program, both on Facebook page and YouTube channel. You may also spread your word about this program with your friends and other people. They could be part of this and benefit as well. Thank you again. See you next week. Psalm 136. Until then, stay blessed. Mm -hmm.